You most likely spotted this device in a background from SwitchPod in my previous videos, but you haven't seen this one. Would you believe me if I said to you that long, long time ago I was against smart hubs? Mostly because the idea of having a dedicated smart hub just to issue the commands, not even do any automation, was simply a little bit ridiculous to me. Especially that I already had a Node-RED server that was able to do a lot of automation on its own. Well, it wasn't SwitchPod that changed my mind, that was because of Xiaomi Hub. However, SwitchPod has cemented my newly formed thoughts and now I actually appreciate what companies like SwitchBot are doing when it comes to reinventing smart hubs. As the SwitchBot 2 hub is already available, I'm probably not the first person to cover SwitchBot Hub 2, however it doesn't make it any less exciting to me, for a couple of reasons. First, it's not just a hub. Instead of making just a hub device that sends the signals from one side of your house to another, SwitchBot puts a lot of thought into what your hub is supposed to be doing. And SwitchBot's Hub 2 brings that to an entirely new level. As you already figured out from the display, the hub comes with a temperature and humidity sensor. Now that sensor is attached to the USB cable, so it's not affected by the temperature inside the hub, which is a plus, and the cable is long and terminated with the USB-A, which is easily extendable. So that's another plus. Now we have two touch buttons that you can interact with. One that you can trigger a scene and turn off the display, so it doesn't blind you during night time, and the second one to turn on the display and maybe start a new scene. By the way, highlight scheduling on that hub is also possible. Now deep inside the hub we have two more features. One is probably familiar to you from the previous SwitchBot hub, it's an infrared blaster. You can use SwitchBot Hub 2 as your infrared remote. You can either record an existing remote and blast the commands from your remote, or choose one of the existing remotes hoping that you have a compatible devices. That way you don't have to set up all the buttons yourself. So your infrared enabled devices can be part of your smart home. It's really neat, I'm actually using that to turn on my uh, sound for the projector and select correct input. The second feature, hidden inside, which you can't really tell from the way it hub looks, is the light meter. It consists of 20 different levels of light intensity, which is great, it's quite sensitive, and you'll be able to use that as a trigger in your automation panel, so you'll be able to turn on and off lights, uh, move curtains, or direct venation blinds, something I covered in this video here. And this is what makes SwitchBot Hub 2 so awesome, with a lot of other hubs you're probably gonna end up hiding them somewhere because they are not too pretty and they bring nothing new apart from hub functionality to your ecosystem. But with SwitchBot is part of my display in there and while the buttons may be not easily accessible I can still trigger them if I need to. And let's talk about what matters mostly to you because it's not as important to me. SwitchBot Hub 2 comes now with matter support. Now, you can enable that very simply by going to the app, clicking on Matter Support and upgrading your firmware. That's it! And once this is done, you'll be able to power your device with Matter-compatible ecosystems. And here where my confession comes, I have absolutely nothing that supports Matter. And I don't miss it all that much because Matter is just a protocol that in theory will enable cross-connectivity between different ecosystems. Something that I've been doing for the last five years using Node-RED anyway, so it doesn't matter whether the device talks over Zigbee, Wi-Fi or Matter, as long as it works, at least for me. But your requirements might be different and now you can add this device to your Matter ecosystem. It will expose the switch puts to actions, plus over time it will bring additional systems that are connected to it, so you'll see more and more devices uh, in your Matter ecosystem, even if they are not supported directly thanks to SwitchBot Hub 2. On to the more interesting subject to me. This. It's not a key fob, even though it looks like that. This is SwitchBot Outdoor Meter. Do you remember SwitchBot Meter Plus, which I covered in here? Now, this is basically the same, minus the screen. It's a small 
a temperature and humidity sensor that you can actually take outside. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been living it outside on my windowsill, monitoring the temperature outside. What sets it apart from different sensors like this? Obviously, it uses Bluetooth to connect to a SwitchPod ecosystem. It has two AAA batteries, so it'll last forever. And what's most importantly, you also have a memory of three months of logging. So even if you get disconnected or you would like to monitor something hey, far away, you can do so, then approach the sensor with your phone and download all the historical data. What's even more exciting is that supports additional metrics, including vapor pressure deficit, absolute humidity and dew point. That could be handy, if, especially if you have a greenhouse or something. And while the device doesn't have any display, it still comes with the comfort temperature and humidity that you can set and you'll receive alarms on your mobile device, which is handy if you want to make sure that something's not going to be overheated or frozen to death. While I don't have exact pricing for this, I expect that it will be on pair with the price for the SwitchPod Meter Plus. As per hub, you can get it right now for $79.99 on either Amazon or SwitchPod store. I'm gonna include the links in the description and as always, I have a small discount code so you don't have to pay the full price because I'm this awesome. After the release of SwitchBot Blind Tilt, now SwitchBot Hub 2, I'm looking forward to what's next, especially that I already seen the pictures of a really tiny smart vacuum cleaner. Pretty sure I'm gonna get my hands on it so I could test it out. So, you probably know I do not have a posting schedule. If you want to know what's gonna happen next and where I'm going to receive, or maybe if I'm gonna receive the vacuum from SwitchBot, then you know how YouTube works, I don't have to explain you all this. But if you have any comments or you want to just chat with me, follow also me on the social media listed down below. It's the best way to reach me and start a conversation. Big thanks to SwitchBot for sending me devices so I could play with them. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.